So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1299 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1299 code? Well, it's a cylinder head over temperature protection active. And what does this mean? Well, many Ford vehicles have what's called a cylinder head temperature sensor that'll be located up on top of the engine around the cylinder heads. And for some reason, it's seeing that the temperature is high. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to know why. And these temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is basically a resistor that changes its resistance as the temperature changes. And the computer sees these changes and it's able to calculate what the temperature is. And the first thing with this code is that it can be the sensor itself or in the wiring, or it could be that the engine's overheating, which would be other things. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to check and see if the engine is overheating or not. And depending on the four, this could be done differently. If you have a temperature gauge and the engine's not running hot, then very likely it's just that sensor that failed or it's inside the wiring going to the sensor. You can also use like one of those low cost laser temperature readers just to see what the temperature of the engine is to see if it is overheating. But basically the first thing to do is to see if the engine is overheating or if it's not overheating. If the engine's not overheating, then very likely that temperature sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced. It can't be tested. It can be tested for resistance and then you can warm it up and see if the values change. So you can test it if you want to. Keep in mind that if there's anything wrong inside the wiring, like an open, short, bad connection, anything like this, it's going to cause the same symptoms is a bad sensor so be sure to keep that in mind and while not too common it could also be a problem with like the pcm or ecm the vehicle's computer might be having a problem or the wires going back to the computer can also be having a problem so that's something else to keep in mind if the engine is running hot and it's overheating then the first thing to check is going to be your coolant level be sure that's good be sure the radiator is just not empty and it just needs coolant added that would be the first thing to check it's also possible that the thermostat got stuck closed there's a thermostat up inside of a housing that controls the temperature of the engine and it opens and closes depending on the temperature and if it gets stuck shut then it could cause the engine to overheat if you could check the temperatures on the engine side and on the hose when a thermostat gets stuck closed it's, it's going to be much hotter on the engine side since the fluid's not pouring through and going into the hose if the temperatures are close on both sides of the thermostat housing then very likely it's not the thermostat it's also possible that the water pump's gone bad and needs to be replaced usually when these go bad they'll have a little weep hole at the bottom of them and coolant will drip out of them when they do go bad so if you look at it and you see coolant dripping out then that's a sign that it has a bad water pump it's also possible that the cooling fans have gone bad and there's some kind of issue with those cooling fans only really work when the vehicle is going less than 20 30 miles per an hour so if you're going down a freeway you're doing like 50 60 miles an hour and the engine's not overheating but then you start hitting traffic lights and things like this and when you're stopped the engine starts to overheat then that's the symptom that there's some kind of issue going on with the cooling fans and another thing that could cause overheating is that the cooling is getting clogged up and it just needs to be flushed this happens sometimes especially on high mileage vehicles but if the engine's overheating then the next thing to go and check is going to be for a clogged radiator and so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1299 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.